What is option delta? Delta is one of the option Greeks which traders use to calculate how much the price of an option might change when the price of the underlying stock index or ETF changes. To understand how delta works, let's compare the movement of the price of a stock with how option prices move. The chart on the left shows the stock. The chart on the right shows the theoretical value of a $50 call option on that stock. For the stock, you can see that if it rises from $50 to $55, you'd have an unrealized profit of $5 per share. This is obvious, of course, but the point of this hypothetical example is that the value of a share of stock has a straight line with a constant slope. But the hypothetical value of a $50 call option on that stock resembles a curve. The value of the call option changes if the stock changes, but not always at the same rate. When the price of the stock is less than the option strike price of $50, the option price would rise if the stock went up, but not at the same rate as the stock. You can see that because the slope isn't very steep. But if the stock rises towards the $50 strike price, the theoretical value of the call option rises faster and faster. It accelerates as the slope of the curve gets steeper, and it grows even higher well above the strike price. Let's take a look at the theoretical price of this call option and plot that slope to see how much the option price might change at various prices for the stock. When the stock is at 40, the slope of the curve at that point is about 0 0.10, and that's the option's delta. What it means is that all other things being equal, the option gains or loses 10 cents in value when the underlying stock moves by $1. At a higher stock price, say $45, the slope or delta begins to rise. Now the option moves up or down by about 25 cents for every $1 movement in the price of the stock. When the stock gets to the strike price of the option, $50, the delta is about 0.5, and that's the typical delta for an at-the-money call option. It means that the option rises or falls by about 50 cents for every $1 movement in the price of the stock. As the stock rises even higher, so does the delta. At a price of $60, $10 above the strike price, the delta is getting close to 1. That means that the option will move by almost $1 when the stock rises or falls by a dollar. So to summarize, the option delta, or rate of change in the value of the option, is below 0.5 when the stock is less than the option strike price, approaches 0.5 at the strike price, but even if the stock price soars, the option delta can never be greater than 1. And the reason for that is that the value of an option to buy a stock can't be worth more than the stock itself. Now let's look at put options. Put options also have delta, but they work a bit differently. So let's compare the delta of a put option with a call option. Now when you own a put option, the value of the put gets higher when the price of the stock moves down. That's the opposite of a call option. Looking at the delta, the plot seems similar, but note that the delta for a put is negative, ranging from minus 1 when the stock price is low to about 0 when the stock is much higher than the strike price. As you can see, when you own a put, you want negative delta because your position gains value as the stock goes down. Also note that when the put option is near the strike price, it has a delta of about minus 0.5. A call option near its strike price has a delta of 0.5. So if you happen to own both the call and the put, a position known as a straddle, those deltas would cancel each other out, giving you a delta of zero when the stock is trading near the strike price. That's called a delta neutral position, which is the subject of another video in the series. One more thing to understand about delta is that it changes over time. If we look at this hypothetical call option again, we can see how both the theoretical option value and the delta changes as the option nears expiration. As time goes by, the delta becomes even more sensitive to smaller price movements near the strike price. Note that as expiration approaches, the delta of the option at the strike price is still about 0.5, but that it can move very rapidly with even small stock price movements. In fact, on the last day of trading, the delta and the value of the option get extremely sensitive to how the underlying stock is trading when it's near the strike price. How sensitive is the delta to price movements? That's measured by another one of the option Greeks called gamma, and that's the subject for another video in this series.